Are you really trimming your nose hairs just for this video? Babe, I'm pretty sure my nose hairs are longer than yours. Mine are, not. mine are kind of blonde. Mine are blacker than the pits of you know where. As you can see, my beard is <laughs> big. I don't know. It's big and bold. It's big and bold. I'm gonna start off this video with a little fall clothing haul for you. Thank you so much to J. Crew for sponsoring this video. I literally love J. Crew. I've been shopping there for years because they have so many great essentials. It feels kind of crisp like a fall day today, so I thought it would be fun to do something fall-ish but there's no pumpkin patches open. So I just curated a couple really cute outfits and I thought I would show you because I feel like that's always fun. So I'm gonna do that and you're gonna trim your nose hair, I guess. When this thing is <laughs> done charging, yes, I need to. <gasps> it's working, homie. Okay. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't like that. Here, I'll do it first. It's barely trimming anything. Yeah, because I don't have anything. I thought I got a booger on there. <laughs> oh! It smells like burning hair. That is horrible. Did we make a mistake? Do I look fresh and clean in there though now? Mm-hmm. Well, on uh, the edges there's uh, some black hair. I'm gonna go try on my cute clothes. You take care of that. I'm gonna take care of it. <laughs> Ew! Oh, it tickles like a mother. <laughs> It may just be me, but fall is my favorite season to dress for. It's just so fun to style. The clothes are the cutest in my opinion. And just look at this color palette. I love the jewel tones, the warm tones. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this stuff. Okay, so first thing I got is this really cute top. Um, I love the color. I love that it's great for a transition between summer and fall. And it just makes me feel good. I feel like you could style it up, dress it down, and wear it with a bunch of different things. I got these really cute jeans from J. Crew. I feel like we need to dress to make ourselves feel good, and I was trying to fit into my jeans from before I had Junie, and it just hasn't been working yet, so it just feels good to have a pair of jeans that I feel confident in. I am obsessed with these clogs. They're so adorable. You could wear them with socks, without socks, but they're super versatile for fall, and I just think this color is perfect. Okay, so this is the next outfit I got. I am obsessed with the lace detail on this shirt and these earrings. This is just a fun twist on the classic white button down. Shopping should be a creative pursuit. I love putting outfits together, but my favorite thing to do is get pieces that I can use again and again. So I'm actually styling this outfit with the same jeans and the same shoes that I wore in the last outfit. That's one of my biggest tips when it comes to shopping. You should get pieces that you can mix and match with one another. That way you can create multiple outfits out of one shopping trip. Just to hit on that versatility and mix and matching a little bit more. We all need a cozy fall cardigan in our wardrobe because you can throw this over virtually anything and it looks so good and so effortless. This outfit looks completely different with this cardigan on and I feel like this piece goes with pretty much anything. So you need that cute, cozy comfort in fall and I know I'm gonna be wearing this on repeat. Okay, this might be my favorite outfit of all. I paired this really pretty soft sweater um, with this long skirt and these awesome maroon boots. They're like riding boots. I feel like these are gonna go with everything. This outfit can be worn for a date night out. It can be worn to go have lunch with friends, go to the pumpkin patch, you name it. I feel like it's super, super versatile. And these earrings are everything. I just love the pearls and I feel like these would go with any outfit that I have been showing you guys too, so I love that. I feel like a beautiful 90s school teacher in this. <laughs> I don't know if it's giving you that vibe, but that's the vibe I'm getting and I love it. Last but not least, you know I'm a new mom and I'm a sucker for a comfy lounge set, so I absolutely love this two-piece set. The color, the sagey color is so pretty. I paired it with this super soft cashmere shirt. I love the little pocket on this. And these sneaks, which match this shirt perfectly. They're like the perfect neutral sneakers and I know I'm going to be able to wear these with a ton of different outfits but I just can't get over when things match this well. It just makes me so happy inside. 
Nothing gives me a confidence boost like some new, fresh, cute clothes. I feel like getting dressed is a, an art form, a creative pursuit. And if you look at it that way, then you're gonna have so much more fun picking your outfits and styling yourself. So this entire J. Crew collection was so thoughtfully designed for fall. I absolutely love all of the pieces. So I'm gonna link every single thing I tried on in the description down below. And don't forget to check out jcrew.com. Check out their new arrivals. They have the cutest stuff for fall. I'm gonna keep that link in the description too. Oh, and you thought I forgot about daddy. Come on out. <laughs> Dang, you look good. He's stunting in his J. Crew too. Wow, I really like the shirt. Is that corduroy? Yeah, it's, it's really cozy and it's a little bit thick, so when it's cold out, this will be the only shirt that I need to put on, you know? This is giving me sexy lumberjack vibes, but this is the more tailored gentleman look, so. Yeah. What can we call this? Bearded gentleman. You are a gentleman now that your nose nose hairs are trimmed. Mm -hmm. You gotta do what you what okay. I did with the slow pan and okay. like showing the fit. All right, you know? here we go. Lexi and Junie are gonna go hang out with cousin James and Kristen. <laughs> yes, and we are gonna try all of the new fall drinks from Starbucks. That's so not Cody's thing because he likes the plain Jane. Cafe con leche that I make at home, but they have some new apple this, some pumpkin that, some caramel, some no, cinnamon <laughs> spice, everything nice. So I was like, it would be fun to just get with my sis and taste them all. So you guys Are we gonna a wonderful be... time. <laughs> Didn't you have a coffee this morning though? Okay, I gotta go, love you. Kristen just texted me this picture of James and said, I need coffee, James. <laughs> all right, I made it to Chrissy's. We have all the drinks. And a special edition drink <laughs> called Booby Milk. <laughs> Is your special? I love him. He perf. You all know my sis Kristen. So if you don't, our husbands are brothers. I was gonna say our brothers That's are married. The <laughs> That's the simplest way the you've simplest ever way. put it. <laughs> and it always takes so long to explain. We're always um, like, my husband is married to her. Husband's brother. <laughs> we always mess it up. This is actually stupid because we were pregnant together. We had our babies three weeks apart, and we have not done a video together throughout any of that or about any of that. But we're gonna just try some and we're Starbucks. together every day. And it's, we have not given what the people wanted the videos of us telling each other we're pregnant. We can still do it. I know. It's but like I get asked years that later. every single day. Every time I post a video, where's the video of you telling Lexi and Cody okay. you're pregnant? We have to do that because that story is actually hilarious. I know. And we just, we're always together and we just never <laughs> film together. Here's the thing. We both film all the time and it's just when you don't have to film and you just yeah. want to hang out with your best friend. You just want to hang out. want to hang out and yeah. not film. But today we are. And this is not what the people asked for. But this but is it's what, what I want. We are choosing to do. So the drinks that I got. Grande Iced Apple Crisp Macchiato. I've heard mixed things about You this. have? The Apple Crisp sounds so good. I don't not know. You. I don't know. Okay. Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew. Pumpkin Spice Latte. The classic. I don't think I've ever had a classic pumpkin spice latte. Are you kidding me? I don't now? think so. This is just something I got for myself. <laughs> what? No way. Brown sugar, oat milk, espresso. Uh, I love that. With blonde. Love that. Really good. You just got that. So you just got that. Very nice. Grande pumpkin frappuccino. This is Kristen's first time having a pumpkin spice latte. I think. I don't know. I'm pretty sure though. Very good. You're lying, you don't like it. To me, it gives me Marshall's candle vibes. Like, I just taste a candle I'm when I drink it. I'm shook. Okay, I'm sure. You love it. I just think it's so cozy. I think probably because I've been having this drink every year since like 2007. So what out of 10? I give it a f six. A D. Would you give it a? I give it 10 a, out of ten. No. Okay. I give it a seven point five for nostalgic, cozy vibes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Apple crisp next. Yeah. I'm really excited about. You gotta this get one. this goo. Yeah, get the, the goo. But don't call it the goo. It is the goo <laughs> at the bottom. The apple goo. Wait, I'm really excited about this one. I feel like me and you are the only people that would be so excited to be doing this, and I've no, always I wanted like to do this. Love to see Starbucks okay. things. Okay. It smells good. 
You hate it. I do not like that. Still gives me candle vibes. It kind of smells like an apple Jolly Rancher. Yes. Does that it's, exist? It's like something like, like a hard candy. I would not ever order that. I'm really, really confused by it. I'm not going to lie. I'm it's very confused confusing. by this. It's not for me. This, I give it a four. They tried to mix too many flavors, I think. It's I'll, like I'll caramel, it a, um, apple, green apple. No. I'll give it a, um, like that. an A for like aesthetic because it was like two different <laughs> colors okay. with the goo at the bottom. A for aesthetics. I have not had a cappuccino or a, a frappuccino. <laughs> Since the eighth grade. So it's just a, a pumpkin, basic pumpkin spice frappuccino. So sweet. You hate every <laughs> single one of these drinks. I have become weirdly very picky with my coffee lately. I hate it. It's the worst thing. I hate it. A two. It's a two. It's so sweet and gross. <laughs> I'm actually shocked because it's so much sweeter than I thought it was going to be. I know. Did you think I was just being dramatic? Uh -huh. It's so sweet. This is a 1 out of 10. I'm really just I would never rooting want this. for the, the cold foam thing. I like this a I'm lot. I'm pretty sure I'll let I you have. taste it first. I love that. I've had it before. I love anything with their sweet cold foam. foam. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just got a really watery sip because it's been sick. You hate it. <laughs> no, that's good. I would drink that. It's just a little watery. I don't know. That's an 8 out of 10. Like, yeah. it has good flavor. Like, I would drink that. The cold foam is good. Mm-hmm. But it is missing it's, Yeah. <laughs> something about it. Maybe the barista was off today. I think <laughs> probably. That's why I was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but... Was that a fail? I think that the ice has been melted because you had to drive over my house. It's like a 10 minute drive. Yeah. No excuses. No excuses. Before we go, favorite thing about being a mom? I think just watching every day he learns something new. Like every day he'll like make a new noise or like smile more, be able to do like a little thing a little bit better mm -hmm. than the day before. And it's just like, he changes so much every day, and I'm just like, I get to watch him grow. <laughs> wow, shameless plug, KristenMade.com. So I literally was going to say, I literally get to watch him grow every day, and I'm like, I gotta say, watch him grow. I cannot with you. It's been so crazy that we've been able to basically have our kids at the same exact time, our first baby, like... It's the... But like, I don't know ever. what I would do if you were not in this season of life. Well, me. it's hard because I feel like being a first time mom can feel very isolating because you're uh, going through yeah. so many new things, life changes, even pregnancy. It's not this walk in the park that no. I feel like people make it seem like. And I mean, mm -hmm. it's gotten better. People are talking about it a lot more, but yeah. it's hard. Your whole life changes so much. And so to have someone, not even someone, literally best my freaking friend, best friend, friend, to go through all of those changes with has been amazing. But then also to see the babies together is like it's the best thing. We like. need to just do a whole video on all yeah. this stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to, you know, talk a little bit. Yeah. So I feel like hey, we can't do a video back without addressing I know. We're just like, love, anything. hate these Starbucks drinks. Bye. Okay, bye. But anyway, okay, we'll do another video together. Yeah, we really need to. But, um, yeah, we are going to go shopping. I have no clothes that fit me. Still. Babies. I know. I just talked about that because I just did a clothing haul and I was like, I tried to fit into my old jeans 17 times. Will not fit over my thighs. Before deciding... I just need to get jeans that fit that I feel good in. Yeah, I texted you the other day and I was like, I'm getting new jeans yes. that are just size. And what did I say? Enough. You're like, do it. I, just I said, got do some. it. Just got some from J. Crew. In my mind, I just thought I'd fit back into everything yeah, right away. Because Instagram gives you such an unrealistic yes. perspective. We both follow people who have babies and like three weeks later, they're in Ibiza and with an eight pack. And I'm just like, oh, I'm like, okay. That I'm ain't like, my yeah. journey. Yeah. We're just learning, I think, to give yeah. ourselves grace and like. Mm -hmm. It's okay, and when we look at our babies, we're like, this is none of nothing else matters. Yeah, you know what I, I feel mean? like we should do a video that's just like, like having a baby, expectations versus reality. Like we could talk about so many things, <laughs> breastfeeding, like a million things that are so different than what I expected. We'll do that. Just let us know down below what you want to see from that yeah. video, and we promise we will do we it. Will do it. <laughs> We are it's so It's gonna bad. be like next year. We're like, we never filmed no, that video, but okay, we're gonna do it. So yeah. anyway, 
Thank you guys so much. We're going to go shopping. Thanks for trying all these, even though it was underwhelming for you. It was a little bit underwhelming. Now I'm a little bit disappointed, but that's okay. We can go get some more coffee. And yeah. thank you so much to J. Crew again for sponsoring this video for us. Make sure to like, subscribe, and go follow Kristen. Her and her husband, my brother-in-law, have a channel together. I'll leave that below. And she has her own channel. It's amazing. And yeah. you guys will love it. So. Love you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.